Oops, I did it again. And I bought myself another compressor. Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and today we're gonna test my new SSL style 2 bus compressor, the Wes Audio Dione. And yes, I quoted Britney Spears, bite me. Here we go. So first thing first, I bought this compressor with my money, I paid for it. Let's get this out of the way. I love Wes Audio. I love the gear they make and the approach they have. They build no compromises units with very, very innovative features and an affordable price. And I think they deserve to be known. I needed an SSL style two bus compressor. So when I decided to go ahead and buy another hardware SSL type compressor, I took a look around and oh boy, so many choices. Wow, Dion, yeah. It did, big time. I'm so happy I have this thing now. It has an incredibly solid sound and features that no other compressor has. It looks great and it kicks some serious ass. Let's take a look at the faceplate. Threshold, mix knob for parallel compression, makeup gain, ratio button with the classic two, four and 10 ratio and the addition of the extremely useful 1.5 ratio. Attack and release settings are the classic you find in these kind of compressors, then the cool stuff. THD button, it controls the saturation from clean to mid to high. And I can't wait to let you hear this. Controllable color, son, it sounds nice. AB comparison, you can store two presets on the hardware itself and compare the two settings with a touch of a button. And now one thing that really played a big role in making me pick this one over any other offer out there. The sidechain filter. High pass filter selectable at 60, 90 or 150 Hertz. Nothing strange so far. But here we have two tilt filters. You have no idea how happy I was to see an SSL type compressor with tilt filters in the sidechain detector. If you're not familiar with this, this is much like the thrust in the API 2500, which is a big part of why people like the 2500 so much. The way the sidechain filter makes the compressor react to the material and to have this on an SSL type compressor is just awesome. If that's not enough, let me tell you what really separates this SSL style compressor from the rest. And I want to start with the coolest thing, full analog separated circuit digitally controlled via USB, which means you have a plugin with the interface in your DAW. You move and set the hardware, the plugin follows, and the other way around. Move the plugin, hardware follows. Obviously, you can store presets, as many as you want, so easy recall, right? But check this out. See when I touch these three knobs? When I touch these three encoders, they lit up, which first of all is so cool to look at, and even better in person, but the most important part is that you can automate these parameters and they are touch sensitive. That's right, you touch them and the DAW records the movements every bit like it was a plugin. How cool is that? And of course, if you prefer, you can automate the plugin directly in your DAW on your screen and the hardware will respond to the automation. Another great feature is the digital sidechain. Since you have the plugin interface in your DAW, if you want to do external sidechain, you simply send whatever track you want to a bus and assign it to the sidechain in the plugin and the hardware will respond to that. No extra cable, total versatility. Being as politically correct as I am, I will just say this thing is way above the rest. There's no contest. Now some hard facts about the analog components. This is a truly high-end piece. True bypass, nice relays clicking included when you press the buttons. Accurate metering, which is important, mirror it in the plugin. And one thing that not all the SSL type bus compressor have is the dual detection in the side chain. I will not go into technical details on this, but trust me, it makes a big difference in how an SSL style compressor reacts to the material and most important, how it sounds. Components wise, this one has two that 2181 VCAs for the detector and one for the gain reduction. Like I said, high end, Wes Audio is not joking here. Finally, before listening to this thing in action, one of the most underrated data when speaking of 500 series modules. This thing has 24 dBU of headroom. Not all 500 series modules do, and some 
also claim they do and they don't, which is pretty annoying. And I unfortunately run into some of them myself. All right, enough talking. Let's hear this thing in action. Although keep in mind, I didn't have it for so long, so I still have to really master its details. But let's hear the thing and I'll see you at the end of the video for some final thoughts.
So what more can I say? Leave all the incredible innovations Wes Audio have on this thing. Leave the digitally controlled interface, the touch-sensitive encoders you can automate. This compressor just sounds so damn good. The glue is there, the color is there, and it's controllable. The THD just opens up and enrich everything that passes through it. The action is great. The compression is so solid. The sidechain detector filters make it so versatile. And again, I love the sound of it. I'll say it, this is the best sound in SSL type 2 bus compressor I've ever had or tried with the greatest features. The bar has been set higher right here. And not just in regard of SSL type compressors, but hardware in general. Plugins nowadays give us the big advantage of automations and instant recall. Well, now with stuff like the Dione, we have the sound of the hardware with all the benefits of the plugin. I couldn't be happier with my purchase with this compressor. And on a side note, Mikkel at West Audio is an amazing guy. Helped me out with the setting up of the software, which was a breeze anyway. Really cool guy. So even that is important for me when I buy from a company. Anyway, that's a wrap. This is it for this video. I hope you find it useful when I introduce you to what I think it's great gear and let you hear it in action. I know not everyone has the possibility to try stuff. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you have questions, drop them in there. Join us on Facebook and Twitter to stay in touch with us and get all the news about the channel, upcoming videos and series and access to exclusive content. And if our videos are helping you in any way, please share them on blogs, forums, social media. Keep supporting Mixbuzz TV, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.